Hi guys, welcome back to ChemArchem, where we explore the interesting topics in organic chemistry. In today's episode, we are going to see the preparation and application of sodium cyanoborohydride, which is one of the versatile reagent with several synthetic uses. Let's go in. Sodium cyanoborohydride is just like or similar to sodium borohydride. So here you see the structures of sodium borohydride and sodium cyanoborohydride. In sodium cyanoborohydride, here you see there are there is one cyano group. The cyano group is electron withdrawing group, therefore, which stabilizes the negative charge on the boron atom. So because of that, sodium cyanoborohydride is less reactive compared to the sodium borohydride but more selective and mild reducing agent. So because of that properties, sodium cyanoborohydride can be useful for hemoselective reductions. However, the hemoselectivity depends on the nature of solvent and pH of the reaction medium. Let's start by discussing its preparation method. Sodium cyanoborohydride can be prepared by the reaction of sodium borohydride and hydrogen cyanide in TH of medium that provide corresponding sodium cyanoborohydride along with hydrogen gas. Okay, let's move into the exciting application of sodium cyanoborohydride. So we are, I already said that sodium cyanoborohydride can be useful for hemoselective reduction. However, that hemoselective reduction mainly depends on the nature of solvent. So first we will see about the hemoselective reductions in the presence of neutral medium. The first example is a reductive displacement. So when you use sodium cyanoborohydride that selectively reduces hollow or tosylate groups. However, in the same framework, if it contains carbonyl, emyl, and epoxide, those groups are unaffected by this reagent. So here you see one of the example. This compound contains both aldehyde group as well as hollow or tosylate groups. When you use sodium cyanoborohydride, that selectively reduces this hollow or tosylate groups resulting that you will get this compound here you see that the aldehyde is unaffected. So this reaction usually undergoes by neutral medium. So here is the one of the example for neutral medium is hexamethyl phosphoramide. Let's see some of the examples for reductive displacement. So now you consider this example, this example contains epoxide ring as well as one bromo group. So when you use sodium cyanoborohydride in the presence of neutral solvent that selectively reduces this group resulting that you will get this corresponding compound. So you just remember that these type of reactions are SN2 reactions. Therefore, polar aprotic solvents such as HMBA or DMSO are more suitable. So let's consider this example. Here you see one ida group in this end as well as two carbonyl groups are present in that molecule. When you subject under sodium cyanoborohydride in the presence of HMBA solvent, here, here you see this solvent is neutral solvent. Therefore, this will reduce only this iodo group resulting that you will get this corresponding hydrocarbon framework. Let's move on some more examples. So now you consider this example. So this one containing tosylate groups when you use this condition you will get this corresponding hydrocarbon product. So now you consider this example. So this compound contains bromo group as well as nitrile. However, under this condition, nitrile groups is unaffected, only this bromo group only replaced by hydride source. 
So this is the another example. Here you see, here you have nitro group as well as bromo group. When you use this condition, that will selectively reduces this carbon, resulting that you will that you will get corresponding compound. So next we move on some more chemoselective reduction based on nature of medium. In acidic medium, when you use sodium cyanoborohydride, carbonyl groups can be converted into the alcohols. However, we should maintain the pH level 2 to 3. And similarly, it means ammonium salts also can be converted into the amines, but pH should be maintained approximately 6. So particularly in that process is called as a reductive amination. Just like imine, enamine also can be reducible into corresponding amines. However, the pH level should be maintained at 4 to 6. And similar to imines, oxines as well as oxine derivatives can be converted into the hydroxy amines. And tosyl hydrosones can be converted into the hydrocarbons. So this particular method is most important method. This method is called as a reductive alkylation. And similarly, epoxide also can be opened by sodium cyanoborohydride to provide corresponding alcohols. So in this video, we are going to see only carbonyl as well as imine or ammonium salt under sodium cyanoborohydride. So you just remember that these, all these reactions are should carry out under in acidic medium. First, we are going to see reduction of aldehydes and ketones. So now you consider this benzaldehyde. When you use sodium cyanoborohydride in the presence of hydrochloric acid, so now you see that pH level is 2 to 3. So when you use this condition, that will selectively reduce this carbonyl group into the corresponding alcohols. So this is another example. So this cyclohexanone, when you subject under this condition, that will provide corresponding compound. So next if we move on reductive amination. Sometimes people say this reaction name is Ford's reaction. So according to this reaction, aldehyde or ketone that react with amine that generate imine, that imine readily reduced by sodium cyanoborohydride under pH level is approximately 6 that provide corresponding aminated product. Let's see some example for reductive amination. Now you take this example. So this uh, compound having ketone functional group that react with pyrrolidine in the presence of titanium based Lewis acid that provide corresponding aminium ion. This aminium ion quickly reacted with sodium cyanoborohydride that provide corresponding reduced product. Now we should see the stereochemistry of this final product. So here you see that pyrrolidine part present in the bottom phase. That means that that hydride ion attack happened from top phase since the bottom phase is sterically crowded by this heterocyclic unit. Okay, let's move on another example. So here you see this 1,3 dicarbonyl compound when it react with ammonia and sodium cyanoborohydride that provide corresponding five member heterocyclic compound. So first to see how that reaction work. So when you use ammonia that will readily form the imine with aldehyde since the aldehyde is more reactive compared to the ketone which provide corresponding imine. That imine readily react with sodium cyanoborohydride that provide corresponding amine. So which one react intramolecularly that provide corresponding imine, which further reduced by sodium cyanoborohydride that provide corresponding product. Let's see some more example for this reductive amination. So this is one of the interesting example for chemoselective reduction. When you take this compound with ammonium nitride and sodium cyanoborohydride reaction condition, that will selectively reduces imine that formed in situ by the reaction between this compound with ammonium nitride that generate corresponding compound. Here you see that epoxide ring is unaffected under this condition. 
So this is another interesting example. Here you see that steroidal framework having two carbonyl groups. So when you use ammonium acetate under sodium cyanoborohydrate reaction condition, that will readily form the imine. But with reacting with this carbonyl group, resulting imine readily reduced by that sodium cyanoborohydrate that provide corresponding aminated product. So here you see this keto group is unaffected under this condition, which is probably due to the steric effect from this methyl group. So here are the some practice problems when you get the free time just to give you a shot. So as we conclude our journey into the preparation and application of sodium cyanoborohydride, I hope this video has expanded your understanding of this remarkable uh, reagent. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more engaging content. So until next time, bye bye.